I once told her that cars are made from tomatoes, and she was like, what, really? Yeah, but you're, you had, like, uh, a more true? elaborate story. Is that true? <laughs> it's <laughs> not you, true. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will believe anything. So, welcome, Christopher. Thank you. To Drawn Apart. <laughs> <laughs> um, today's word channel, would you like to... Oh, sure. Our word for today, because you wanted to be surprised, and I always admire the brave people that want to be surprised, um, is night with a K. K-N-I-G-H-T. Like knight in shining armor. All right. Cool. <laughs> So we get uh, <laughs> draw metal and stuff. That's the uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Alex was showing me your artwork online, which is beautiful, by the way. Oh, so thanks. gorgeous! And I, I love it. Yeah. So I said we're gonna have him on, and he's just gonna blow us out of the water because. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have you have like a whole bunch of stuff like that you post that's. Uh, you're like, oh, this only took me 20 minutes. Oh, this only took me 20 minutes. And we're like, we're giving you an hour, and your 20 minutes stuff already looks better than all of our hour stuff. So, <laughs> Okay, well, um, uh, yeah, <laughs> not feeling the pressure uh, at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's our plan is to put you under so much pressure that maybe <laughs> maybe we'll look okay. Yeah, no. <laughs> I see, so that's your strategy, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So maybe okay. for the people watching, we should explain that we are currently up at 7 a.m. in the morning. Yes. Uh, because wow. Christopher lives far, far away. Far, far in... away. I, I'm from Norway. Yeah. And it's about 1 p.m. here. So, uh, and I just woke up myself. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we're all, all a bunch right. of sleepy heads. Yeah. So, um, how'd you get started with your uh, channel? Shana, would you like to try to address it a little bit? Oh, I can, even though it was kind of more you're doing. But basically, well, Alex and his, Alex and his yeah. friends had kind of wanted to do a YouTube thing for a while. Um, right. And the show idea itself actually came about from um, one of our other collab members on the channel, uh, Mark. He actually came up with this show idea, which I really fell. Oh, my cat's stepping on the keyboard. Okay. <laughs> which I, which I really fell in love with, and so I kind of jumped on board. Um, yeah. So Alex, I don't know what your original idea was, as far uh, as YouTube stuff, just animations in general, yeah. or yeah, like I wanted to learn animation, and I was like, hey, if a bunch of us want to do stuff on a YouTube channel, like we could do like a collab thing, which was kind of the idea at first. Yeah. Um, oh, you have more? Uh, yeah, like I, I do like little, I do like speed paints on Friday sometimes. Not great ones, but I do them. And on, um, sometimes I'll release like little animated things. And okay, I have, cool. and we have, um, we have Mark that does like little pop culture stuff. He, and then we have uh, Eddie on uh, Wednesdays who does like he does like video game stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah, we get, we have like a small variety of stuff. Interesting. Yeah, I just um, I work as a full time animator at uh, well, combined it's full time, but it's at two different indie game companies. Oh, wow. oh nice. And um, I have this philosophy that you need to do stuff just for yourself as well. So that's when I uh, you can't all be work because that's not. You know, most right. of us didn't didn't get into this to make a bunch of money. <laughs> well, sure. Right. So uh, yeah, that's when I decided to uh, start my YouTube channel. Nice. Nice. And basically, it's just whatever I feel like animating. It's really good stuff. I mean, like you've only only have like a couple of videos up at the moment, but like, I'm surprised like it came out of nowhere with just high quality, like out of the <laughs> gate. It was great. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's been really fun, and people have been really great. Um, I've gotten a lot of great responses to um, 
to what I made so far. Nice. Yeah, yeah, you have been getting a lot of the Frederator love. They're they're really digging what you're doing. Okay. Uh, not used to talking and drawing at the same time. So. Isn't that's, it hard? If I go that's, silent, just uh, that's give me okay. A nudge. I am off. I'm horrible at it. And as many shows as we've done, I think I'd get better, which I guess slightly, but <laughs> I I think it's really hard. Yeah. Um. So how long have you been working in animation? Uh, not too long. I I graduated. Uh, when was that? Last summer. Oh, okay. So uh, I've been working freelance for about a year, and during my bachelor year, I instead of making a, it was a bit of a weird setup uh, because I was in Australia for two years. Oh wow! And sort of skipped ahead and did second year and third year off the bat even though I didn't know how to animate um, and then I went back to Norway because I wanted this is where I wanted to work and I wanted to uh, uh, build a network mm -hmm. uh, so I did the third like my last my, my bachelor year I did back in Norway and uh, <clears throat> um, instead of making a bachelor film because we already did that in uh, Australia I focused on freelance uh, so started to build a bit of a network and some contacts and stuff during my last year in, at, at uni. Huh. Uh, That's a pretty interesting journey. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, I've always just done stuff my own way. <laughs> right. Uh, I remember uh, I also studied illustration in Norway before I decided to do animation. And uh, the whole anima uh, illustration industry in Norway is really... It's not as commercial or whatever you would call it as it is in uh, the United States. Mm -hmm. So it's not as it's not a lot of focus on color theory and anatomy and you know the basics that you need to become a good artist. Uh, it's more about jumping straight ahead into your own style, which I didn't understand and it didn't work for me. So I always just used like the internet and artists that I think are awesome and uh, learn most of my stuff from them. Huh. And and then uh, my teacher was like, okay, so uh, you're not doing the assignments the way they're supposed to be done? <laughs> but, and I was like, yeah, you're correct. <laughs> uh, uh, but she was like, uh, yeah, but I can see you're consistent in what you're doing and you're really progressing at a fast pace, so I got top grades, even though, yeah, I didn't do whatever the assignment said. Right. <laughs> like, we were supposed to make a editorial illustration for some sort of magazine, and I made this big mutant monster eating <laughs> people, and it was just horribly wrong for the magazine <laughs> thing, but <laughs> uh, it was what I wanted to do, and uh -huh. yeah. It was felt kind of nice to be uh, recognized for putting in the hard work. And yeah. Just following your own path. Trailblazing and whatnot. Yeah. So, so, um, so you like the the more Western style stuff because you were saying that they're a little more freeform over there, right? Yeah. Well, and this is just my opinion, but I think. You know, before you can jump into your own style and be all uh, abstract and whatnot, you need to understand realism, or at least the basics, like perspective, and then you can start to bend that into your own style. Uh, yeah. But that's not really the philosophy over here. <laughs> I can see it both ways, though, because you don't have to become a master realist painter to right. do stuff, modern stuff. Because you can build it on, you know, whatever those guys had to learn by themselves. Right. I mean, it's not like uh, mathematicians and uh, scientists and stuff have to reinvent gravity and <laughs> uh, right. just use whatever was there before. But uh, at least have some sort of understanding about the fundamentals. Uh, yeah, there's there's value in that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I haven't even That's started awesome. to draw my... Uh, Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
was going to say, there have been, um, when we first started the show, the act, well, the first episode's a mess altogether, but um, I didn't get hardly like three lines on the paper. <laughs> And it was like, okay, an hour's up. And I was just like, panic. It was terrible. So don't you feel bad. <laughs> All right. That's comforting. <laughs> it's just the whole thing about... I'm super impressed now about with people that draw and talk at the same time. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Because I do hangouts and stuff with uh, friends, but you can just shut up if you want to concentrate. <laughs> right. If you need to concentrate for a second, I mean, feel free. I'll make some jokes or sing a stupid st- song. And... <laughs> okay. No, I'll, I'll be fine. I'm just lowering your expectations. <laughs> yeah, when we're at work and stuff, um, and the other guys want to chat while we work, uh, I'll just put my headset on and <laughs> blast music. <laughs> I can't come. You've come, on the, you've come on the wrong show. <laughs> I have. What have I done? Uh, 